lo-fi music is commonly used to listen to as background music whenever you're studying or gaming or just relaxing, but sometimes it can sound kind of sad. My name is El Marquis, musician, rapper, record producer, unashamed crest follower, and today I'm going to show you how to make a sad lo-fi beat in Logic Pro 10. El Marquis Productions. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you're new to this channel, I make a lot of videos where I break down songs or beats that I made. I give producer tutorials oftentimes in Logic Pro 10, and I enjoy giving advice to both independent artists as well as independent producers. So if you haven't already, please do me a really big favor, hit that like button on this video and subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so then that way you'll be able to see more videos like this and you'll be able to help other people who have similar interests as you see more videos like this. So now I'm going to open up Logic Pro 10 and show you how I made this sad low Lo-Fi beat is my song called I'm Not Sad, You Are. So when I sat down and started to make this beat, I decided to start with a royalty-free loop. I like using loops to give me some really quick inspiration when I start a track, so that way, especially if I'm having beat block or if I'm struggling with creating a melody or a chord progression, using loops is a quick way to start off a song, so that way you'll be able to quickly start creating. And of course, whenever I do use a loop, I manipulate it in some way, either by changing the tempo, changing the key signature, adding different effects, chopping it and rearranging it, or just some type of combination of all of them. So this lo-fi beat started off with this loop and here's what it sounds like. So that's cool, it's really simple. And the one thing about using loops is that sometimes things can get a little repetitive, especially if the song happens to be anything more than two and a half to three minutes, things could start getting a little boring. And especially if it's an instrumental song where there aren't any vocals, you need to find some way to add another dynamic to the song and make it sound more interesting. So in the chorus section of the song, I drop that loop down an octave. And here's what that sounds like. So it's the exact same loop, it's got all the same effects on it. The only difference is that I transposed it down another octave, so that way it sounds deeper, it sounds lower, it can sound even a bit muddy, but it gives that section of the song a different feel. There were a couple ways I could have approached it with just that loop specifically, but of course in that section of the song, I took out some instruments, replaced them with some others, so that way it's really easy to tell the difference between the verse and the chorus. Like in a lot of my lo-fi songs, I like bringing out my nylon string guitar, especially if I'm making a song that has a loop that's somewhat repetitive, I like adding in other instruments to make this track sound more interesting. So here's one part that I played with my guitar. It's a simple part on its own, but also as the song continues progressing, I like adding in more instruments, so I added in a second guitar that sounds like this. On their own, they sound really simple and they're supposed to be. Sometimes, especially for this style of music when it's oftentimes used as background music, you don't really need to do things that are super complex, and that's fine. If the vibe of the song calls for something a bit simple, then there's nothing wrong with keeping it simple. So here's what those two parts sound like when played together. So both of those guitars played during the verse and then in the chorus, I took them out and replaced them with two different guitars. Because in addition to transposing the loop down an octave, taking out the previous two guitars and adding two different ones in furthermore makes this section of the song sound distinct from the verses. So here's one of the guitars. And here's the second guitar. So both that low part and this high part are playing similar patterns, just one's obviously in a lower register, one's in a higher register. And also, most of the effects on all the guitars are the same except in this section of the song, I added in a little delay to both of those guitars to add more space and dimension. So here's what they sound like played together with the effects on them.
every little change in this section may be small, but when you add them all up together, it does make the song sound a bit more interesting, especially for something as minimalistic as this. Those little changes really do make each section of the song sound distinct from each other. So the sound that I got from the loop sounds like it's some type of Rhodes piano. So I wanted to add some more instruments that kind of just complement. So one of the first additional instruments I added in the song is this pad. It's only playing two chords, it's really just meant to be something in the background just to add another layer in the song. And then I also added in a Rhodes piano playing the exact same chords except with one additional note. And it sounds like this. Both parts are playing pretty much the same thing, really simple, and that's all that was really necessary for the song. So in the first verse of this song, there's no bass. Normally, you would drop the bass pretty early, but in this song, I was feeling like dropping it later, in the second verse, to be exact. Out of all the instruments that I play on the MIDI keyboard, the bass is definitely the most complicated, and here's what this part sounds like. playing the same chords as the other instruments in the song, but it's just got more movement to it. And that bass only plays in the second verse of the song and it drops out again in the second chorus. Here's the drum group that I came up for the song. Nothing crazy going on at all. It's just another typical boom bap slash lo-fi pattern. As per usual, I don't quantize any of the drums because I like everything sounding slightly off just so it sounds more human. And you'll be able to find a link to the full version of the song in the description below, as well as the cards wherever they pop up on the screen. And now here's a preview of this full song called I'm Not Sad, You Are by El Marquis Production. <laughs> this video if you like what you've seen today please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you know whenever i upload new videos also be sure to visit my website lmarkeyproductions.com where you'll be able to check out my music my beats my sample kits my merchandise and my mixing mastering and consulting services now go down in the comment section below and let me know do you have any questions about anything that we discussed today do you have any video recommendations what other topics would you like me to break down let me know in the comment section below my name is lmarkey lmarkey productions God bless.